Open the door slowly and step out. Open the door. That is Windsor, Virginia police officer Daniel Crocker. Keep your hands outside the window. Body camera footage shows Crocker and Officer Joe Gutierrez with their guns drawn and pointed at U.S. Army Lieutenant Karen Nazario. What is going on? Get out of the car now! Nazario's crime? Driving a new car while black, asking the police questions and initially not complying. I'm you serving this country and this is how you're going to treat me? I didn't do anything. Whoa, hold on. What's going on? Hold on. Watch it. Watch it. Get out of the car! The body camera footage and Nazario's cell phone video are now part of his million dollar lawsuit. Sir, just get out the car! I'm trying to breathe. Get out of the car now! That's up. That's really up. According to court documents, Nazario was driving his new SUV home from his work as an army medic when the police activated their lights. Nazario says he then drove slowly for another mile so he could pull into a well-lit gas station. Nazario's temporary new car license plate was visible in the back window. The body camera shows police yelling conflicting orders at him. Off and get out of the car. Don't reach in there, Daniel. Don't reach in there. My hands are out. Please. Please. Look. This is really messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right get now. Get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. What are you, a specialist, Corporal? What are you? Specialist and corporal are among the lowest ranks in the U.S. Army. In other words, it was a taunt. I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Once Nazario was out of the car, the video shows the police hit and handcuffed him. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Yes, sir. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Why? Because you're not cooperating. Get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? This is really messed up. Then, as one officer interrogated Nazario, the other searched Nazario's vehicle without a warrant. Eventually, the officer said they would not arrest or charge Nazario if he was chill. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. Both officers still work for the Windsor, Virginia Police Department. Neither has been suspended for their actions. And whatever you want to call those actions, overly aggressive, unconstitutional, racist, any decent human being will also call it sickening. The officers clearly wanted to dominate and humiliate Nazario, a man who was driving home from his job, a job that asks him to save lives for our country. Clearly, his own life was at risk, and he knew it. That's why he drove to a well-lit parking lot in the first place, so there would be no misunderstandings. Even as the police pointed their guns at him, Nazario stayed calm, kept his hands out the window, and repeatedly told officers he was afraid to reach down even for a seatbelt. Now, I get that some police will say you should never try to elude cops even for a mile, and that there are plenty of bad people out there. But you know what? There are also plenty of bad racist cops out there. These two officers acted this way even as the cameras were rolling. Imagine if there wasn't body camera footage or cell phone video. Actually, we don't have to imagine. We know that this police terror of minorities has been going on in the United States for decades, and it is still going on. And that's where we are today in America. If you are a minority in these United States, you can serve your country in the military one moment and get terrorized by police moments later because of the color of your skin. Racists and xenophobes need to be held accountable. One can only hope that Nazario's lawsuit will be successful but a civil lawsuit is not enough. Fire the cops, take away their retirements, charge them with assault, make the message clear. This racism cannot continue.